Welcome to Happy Tales, Collier County Domestic Animal Services Adoption Show. Sit back and relax, because over the next half hour, we're going to show you some adorable dogs, cats, and other cuddly creatures that would make a great addition to your family. And now, here's the host of Happy Tales, Troy Miller. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Happy Tales. I'm Troy Miller, along with the lovely Marjorie Blow, <laughs> my fantastic well, co-host. And the volunteers here at DAS, the Yard Game, the Inside Edition. It's time for another Collier yeah, yeah, yeah. County Domestic <laughs> Animal Services Happy Tales Dog and Cat Adoption Show. And wow, we've got a lot to go on. Oh, today. we do, we do, we do. And we're full of animals here. Yes, Not lots of cats, kitties, rabbits. rabbits. We still have the snake. We still have because you didn't come and adopt it. Well, I'm, there's another story to that. I'm not oh, going right. to come and adopt it. But hey, this month, all month of August, we are just—it's a catastrophe, as we say, tongue in cheek. Around a, ca here. a category five. It's hurricane. a category five catastrophe. Her hurricane here at Collier County Domestic Animal Services. So we want you to adopt cats only five dollars this month. And as always, when you buy one, you adopt one, you get, get another one, one free, at no cost, whether you want or not. <laughs> <laughs> not quite like that. No, not really. But anyhow, let's get started with some great dogs. Oh, we've got an excited senior citizen here. <laughs> She's this, a beauty. Tell me about River. She's okay. fantastic. Her number is 251828. She's eight years old. She's spayed. She's 61 I know. pounds. I know. And it was really sad I because know. I guess her owner couldn't keep Aww. her anymore. But this is a dream dog right yes. here. She does everything. She knows Sit. Good all girl. Her, Good girl. All her commands. Good girl. Uh, likes other dogs. She's just the whole package. And it's always so worthwhile to uh, <laughs> adopt a senior, although she really doesn't Well, like a she's, I th part of that is there's a, lot of there's a lot of distraction in here right now to make them excited. We always want to point that out. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I know, and you can speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, not me now. <laughs> okay, baby girl. I think okay. she likes the rabbit. The Give me gets. River's okay. number one more two, time. 251828, come and get River. She's ready to go home today. Right, River? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy here is Butch. Butch's number is 237156. Butch is a neutered male, orange tabby and white domestic short hair, and is three years old, weighs just over 10 pounds. Yeah. Good looking cat. Looks like he might have been a TNR cat at one point. Yeah, maybe. at one point, but you know what? He was too sweet to be let out again as a TNR. And I do have to tell you, I know Butch, he's a great cat. He's uh, friendly, likes other cats, and very personable. We Loves should explain TNR. That I mean, we're right. using acronyms, and I always blame people. That, I, if, I don't know if I'm going to get it right. It's trap, neuter, and return. Correct? Release. Yeah. Release. I'm sorry, release. That's okay. And it's just a program that's designed to help keep feral cats from reproducing. Right. right. Because that's a big problem. Every responsible cat owner, sure, that's good if you have your cat spayed or neutered, but if these feral cats are cats that just roam loose. But you know what? And they live in communities and people are happy to have them. Back. And they feed them and yes. they keep feed out yes. food out for them and everything and all of that. So, you know, it's a great program but, that they actually do uh, a program to try to conti mm -hmm. contain the cat population for these kind yes. of cats. You Community cats is a better name than feral right. cat, by the way. Do you way. know that if, if just one female cat does not get spayed, you can have end up with 100 cats that year? Yeah, see, and that's what we're trying to control here. Be a responsible pet owner. Butch, 237156. Hey, we're at a Category 5 hurricane here at Collier County DAS. We are overrun with cats, so Butch and all the cats you see today, just $5. And you buy one, you get another one absolutely no You get one no free. Cost. This is a nice boy. Come and get him. Butch, 237156. Oh, this is Goliath. Oh. What an appropriate name for a beautiful big boy. And this is this is Rich. He's one of our volunteers yes, he here. He, while we're talking about Goliath, he's going to take him through some of the paces of some of the things <laughs> he can do. Tell his, me about Goliath. His You're number possible. is 251-720. Oh. He's uh, two, seven years old. He is part of our yeah, All Hearts No Worms program. Fun. Which means that we're going to pay for all the heartworm treatment. He did come into us as a stray. This is hard to believe yes. because somebody really You're trained him. <laughs> down, down, down. But he's got a skin condition. They're working on that. Yes, They're doing yes. all this training with him. Yeah. He'll come with meds. I bet you he was probably oh. trained beforehand. Does he walk well on a leash, Richie? Yeah, really oh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good on a leash, really friendly easy. with people, a great dog all the way around. And One look at that beautiful he's very face. Well trained. Yes, yes. Oh. He's even housebroken. Oh, everything you want in a dog. We're yes. at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. We're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for adoptions. Come and, and get this sweet oh, boy. Oh, I mean, Goliath is such a great dog. He comes broken in, fully worn, yeah. loved, ready yeah. to go. You can't beat it. Well, one more time. How old is he? 720. He's seven years old. Up. Up. Come. 
Come oh, here. come on, Goliath. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you deserve it. Come yes. get Goliath oh. today. He is a beautiful dog. Oh, this is another good looking cat. This okay. is Puma. Puma is, number is 249-685. Puma is a neutered male, brown and tabby, white domestic short hair, nine years old. That's a great age. You're getting oh, a yeah. fully seasoned cat, fully broken in. Got quite a few years left ahead of him. And I don't know. I have to tell you, he's 15 pounds, and I want to tell you that he is our most mellow boy. Um, we just let him out for the day. He goes up on his cat tree. He kind of lays there, looks for a treat every now and then. When I tell you that he's my favorite, I'm not lying. You actually mean it this time. I we, do. we kid Margie because she's all the time Marjorie because she's all the time. I work with a Marjorie and a Margie, That's okay. and it's confusing. Uh, <laughs> she's always telling us, oh, this is my favorite, this is my no, favorite. No. This, this is really is, my favorite. I mean, the, the reaction she had when Puma came in yeah. tells me she's serious this he's time. He's just the nicest boy, and he'll sit by you, and he's like no muss, no fuss, and he loves other cats. Five dollars this yeah. month, all month August, only five dollars for any cat. Come get Puma Well, today. actually, do you know what? He's well, not even right. he's five dollars. Free. Yeah. He's free. This is a senior. For, if you're a senior, you can adopt a senior free, yeah. and this qualifies right here. Now all you got to do is... Maybe one day you'll be a senior and you'll qualify for the program as well. Yeah, right. Puma, two four nine six eight five. Oh, we've got an excited girl here. This is Anna. Tell me about Anna. It's Anna's okay. number it's is one five nine eight seven five. So baby. that's an older number, meaning that she came here from DAS before. I know. She's I seven know. years old, and this is really a heartbreaker. Her owner passed away. Now, and now we got to find her a new really home. Sick. And we got to find her a home with a dietitian. Absolutely, because Anna weighs 107 pounds, and we don't think she should weigh that much. She so. should not weigh that much, but she does weigh that much now. So please yeah. make sure you have the room and space and strength for a large right. dog. But she's a large dog. She's a sweet girl, right? Oh here. yeah, absolutely sweet dog. Look at dog. Yeah. Look at dog. You know, she was she was she was loved, maybe loved a little bit too much, right, Anna? Yes, yeah, she has a little yeah. white spot, very distinctive yeah. white spot there. Yes, maybe grazed a little bit too much in mommy and. Daddy's yeah. food. <laughs> so come get her, 159-875. And when you do um, de make a decision to add a furry friend to your family, and it's really an important decision, so make her sure idol that, set you know, high. that you know that <laughs> not only are you res rescuing, but you're saving a life. And um, and we'll help you here at DA. We it's will help you. We provide ranch. everything that you need. We want to remind everybody that the last Friday of every month is our low-cost vaccination right. clinic here at Collier County Domestic Animal Services. That starts at, starts at 10.30. Starts at 10.30. Get a hold of us in advance to make a reservation. It's not really an appointment, but, but you, it, can pre -register. you can pre-register. It helps get you in and out a little and bit it, quicker. It goes on until about 2 o'clock, and boy, have they been successful. I'll it's bet they really have. really low, low cost. One more time. Give me the number here on Anna. Her number Anna. is 159875. Oh, no. Come get this poor girl. <laughs> This is Lizzie. Lizzie's number is 249566. Lizzie's a female calico domestic short hair and is five months old. Yeah. She's just a little kitten. She's been in and she, out of the clinic. She, had a couple uh, issues that we need to get addressed, but we've taken care of that. Want to remind everybody that while Lizzie's trying to we forgot away, to shut the ice machine off. <laughs> for our, yes, we also forgot to shut the ice machine off. It is $5 for any cat for the entire month of August. Come check out Lizzie, all of our great selection of cats. We've got cats coming out the scenes. It's a Category 5 per case yes, basically it is. here at Collier County DAS. Listen, Lizzie's a little freaked out. She's not like She's this, adorable, she's though. In the playroom. Yeah. So we're going to give you her number one more time and let her go. This is Lizzie, 249566. This beautiful dog here is Nico. Nico. Tell me about Nico. His number is 181146. On. That meant that uh, if that's his number, he'd been here. He, got, he was adopted from here before, but he did come in as a stray. I don't know if the people couldn't find his microchip. Or yeah, whatever. speaking of strays, remind microchip all microchip, your animals microchip. and keep the information up to date. Yeah. It doesn't do any good if it's they're calling a number that you don't have anymore. Exactly True. right. He Tell weighs, me more about him. Okay, he weighs 63 pounds. So if you do live in an apartment, please check with your landlord to make sure that there isn't a weight description. Sure. He's got beautiful markings. I he's know. He's got a Mickey Mouse. He does. <laughs> it does look like that, doesn't it? He seems it? like he's a fun dog. He is neutered, so you know what that means. He can go home today. Go home Every today. dog or cat adopted here at Clark County Domestic Animal Services, it gets all of the shots. It's microchipped. It's spayed or neutered. It's a month of pet insurance. 
It's the best value going anywhere Your today. License, and remember, if you don't see the dog or cat that you like here on the show today, call us and find out more information yes. at 252 Pets. That's 252 7387. One more time, give me Nico's number. 146. Nico, come and get him. Yeah, that's you. Good job. This is Nyla. Nyla's number is 249325. Nyla's a spayed female brown tabby and white domestic short hair and is about 15 months old. Yeah. She weighs around around six pounds. Owner surrendered. Yeah. Good looking cat. I'm on right now. You've probably, if you're watching this entire episode, some of the cats seem a little nervous. There is a lot going on in here today. There's thunder and lightning. There's other animals in the room. We've got so please rabbits, don't judge everything. any of these cats no. based on the, the fact no. that they may be a little skittish and, sitting right here. And today. I have to say, and and Bridget knows this too. This Nyla is one of my favorite kitty cats too, Second besides favorite. Puma. Yeah, Puma's yeah. her favorite. So and she's and pretty. She's, she's such a, a gorgeous she's girl. She's a beautiful cat. But like I said, it's a very unsettled situation mm -hmm. in here today. We decided to press through and try to get this program done because we've got so many cats here. It's uh. a category five. Hurricane. Hurricane. I always get that wrong because I think it's a catastrophe. Five dollars <laughs> for any cat in our inventory, and you get one, you get another one for free. So basically, that's two dollars and fifty cents a cat. If that's right. Like. And Nyla. just think, you could have four for ten dollars. That's right. Nyla's number is two four nine three two five. Come get Nyla today. Oh, this big boy here is Rufus. Rufus. I promise Rufus is going to turn a look at the camera in just a minute. Pretty soon. But tell me Rufus's number. Rufus's Come number on. is 252172. Uh, he's two years old. He weighs 64 pounds. He's a pretty dog. He's a gorgeous color. dog. And he's a nice dog. He came into us sit? as a stray. Sit? Come on, people. Please microchip your oh, pets. I know, baby. And you know what? Check with DAS. If you lose one of your your cat or your dog, your I rabbit, always treat. look on our website. Because That's right. You have no idea how many animals we get reunited because of it. Well, absolutely. And, and when a stray comes in, we do hold the oh, stray yeah. in a five separate days. area for five Aww. days to make sure that he's not, you know, missing, Isn't he separated from. Handsome? He is a great dog, and he's leaning in, and this I love when they lean the in and get along. This is the kind of dog that I love. I uh, know. And so, Rufus, we we'll remind everybody, we're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for adoptions. We're at 7610 Davis Boulevard. And Rufus is waiting for you to come adopt him and take him home. What's his number? 252-172-172. And what do we always say? It's always better to adopt. You never want to shop. Never, ever. And our dogs always come with what? An attitude of gratitude. Come get Rufus Look today. Look at this handsome Two. boy. We'll be back with more great dogs and cats right after this on Happy Tales. I was afraid of that. Well, guess it's time to get you fixed. Your pets will start fooling around sooner than you think. Go on, get out of here! Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. Hey, this cat's got its own social Aww. media app, I guess. This is Tinder. Tinder's number is two four five or two five one three one nine. Tinder's a neutered male black domestic short hair. Look four cute. months Hi, old. If you see this cat online and you like it, swipe right. If that's the right way to go on Tinder, I don't know anything about Tinder. I have Tinder. no idea. It's a dating app. Anyhow, oh, we're gonna make no a bunch of jokes we don't understand exactly because we're both married a long time, not to each other. Want to point that out? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. That's coming one day, right, baby? Tell me about Tinder. <laughs> Four months old, had been, I think, in foster. No, no, came in as a straight. Yeah. Only weighs three pounds. A little bit nervous because of all these rabbits and stuff. Just come adopt five bucks. I can't be said it. People are calling right now to try for, to adopt for, this kid. Yes, they are. One more time. Tinder, 251 <laughs> Oh, if you're into white dogs, we've got a beautiful is one for pretty? you here. This is Charlie. Tell me all about Charlie. Charlie's number is 222818, and he's only five years old. He weighs 64 pounds. I know. Please, you people, sit? you know what? When you do you adopt sit? these dogs, and they're large, think about having a yard fenced in for sure. And if you do not own your home or rent, you know, what you want to check is with your landlord to make sure that it's okay because yeah, they have, a lot of them have right. weight restrictions. And we yeah. don't want you to adopt and then get broken hearted and have to bring your animal back here. Well, it's like we always say, uh, adopting a dog or a cat is a commitment. You should absolutely. know what you're getting into when you go into it. And we really help explain that to you when you Ab come here. Like absolutely. a dog like Charlie, if you don't have a fenced in backyard, sure you can still have a dog like Charlie, but Charlie's going to need a good yes. long walk and a couple of times a day there at least. 
always costs involved with your that's pet. That's right. That's right. And Just even, like anything else. Yeah. Even though we do a low cost uh, monthly clinic here at the end of the month, you know, it's still if your dog gets sick, you got to go to the vet. But you know what? When you do adopt a dog, it comes with 30 days free pet insurance. Ooh, How such can a great you beat deal. That? One more time, give All me right. Charlie's number. His number is 222818, and this 64 pound beauty is ready to go home today. <laughs> oh, this beautiful cat here is Hope. Hope's yeah. number is 249212. She's a spayed female brown tabby domestic short hair and is 15 months old, weighs just over seven pounds. Now, she's been in foster, right? Yes, because she had a litter of seven. Whoa. See what happens when you don't That's fix right. her cat? One cat, one litter, seven cats. Yeah. And each of, well, each of those females is capable of doing the exact same thing within a few months. <laughs> right. So. At four months, they can have a litter. But you know what? She's sweet. She's docile. Her babies all got adopted. Now it's time for mommy. That's right. Mama's done her job. She brought those yeah. babies into the world, got them healthy, got them out, got them adopted. Now mom needs some love, yeah. right? She, and I mean, when I say she's sweet, you can see how gentle yeah, she is. Yeah, with everything that's been going Hi, on in baby here today, girl. she's yeah. very subdued, very sweet little Are girl. you my hope? How you are my not hope. not one of your favorite cats? She loves you. I do like her, too. <laughs> <laughs> want to remind everybody we're at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. We're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And our phone number is 252-PETS. That's 252-7387. And you know what? She's very hopeful that she's going to get a home. Oh, uh, and uh, on that pun, we'll remind you, Hope's number is 249-212. Come get her today. Oh, this guy here is full of it. This is Arlo. Tell me about Arlo. Okay. He's a lap dog. <laughs> Arlo's number is 246931. Oh, and uh, he is neutered and he's ready to go home. Now, I'll tell you something. This poor guy got surrendered because somebody said he has too much energy. If you don't train, don't blame. Oh, I like, like that. that. That's a Whoa. good one. Actually, we've got a new one on us. If yeah. you don't train, if don't you blame. don't train, don't blame. These dogs, you know, a lot of them are trained and, and housebroken. But you know what? They still, they take some time. He just has a lot of energy. Okay. He's a happy boy. I know, buddy. Two, I know. four, six, nine, three, one. Come Arlo. get Arlo today. He's got enough energy to power a home for four. 58 pounds. <laughs> Oh, we've got a great daily double for you today. Yeah. This is Sweet Boy, and this is Tipsy. Sweet Boy's number is 252191. Tipsy's number is 252197. Sweet Boy is a neutered male gray tabby domestic short hair. three years old. And Tipsy is a male gray tabby domestic short hair and is eight years old. And, you know, this is a sad story because these two cats were surrendered together because the owner had some unfortu an unfortunate situation. And so here they are with us, but... One thing about these cats, they're very a, unique because they are leash trained. And then, and the nice gentleman surrendered his with his cats, his leashes too. So they truly are leash trained and um, they love walking on a leash. You and, know, it, it's funny you mention that because when I always think about cats on a leash, I always think about our actual ordinance here that says dogs have to be on a leash outside, mm -hmm. says cats have to be on a leash outside right. too. But it's not doesn't discriminate between dogs and cats. Better cats should be indoors. That's uh, correct. That's but correct. these two d do like walking on a leash, and what we're really hoping for is that they get adopted together. And, because and it's we're a buy one, get one free. Because we're suffering from this Category 5 hurricane, mm -hmm. you can come in and get both these cats at $5. Mm -hmm. That's all. You can walk out the door with both. You can have a sweet boy and be tipsy for only yeah. $5 if you come down to Collier County DA. And they re i got to tell you, they're really sweet guys really really sweet one more time the number sweet boy 252191 and tipsy 252197 come pick up the pair today hey this is clifford the, the big, big red, red dog. dog actually i mean <laughs> we don't want to get sued by the way it's not that big red dog it's our big it's red our dog. clifford the big red dog tell me about clifford Clifford's number is 244812 you smell every other dog he's 6 years old he is a big boy he's 80 He's 82 pounds. He is gorgeous. He is part of our All Hearts No Worms program. And you know what? He'd like to be your only dog. This okay? is a majestic dog. Look at this yeah. dog. The countenance, the stance. I mean, mm -hmm. he is a gorgeous, gorgeous and, dog. Uh, and he's a happy boy. He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting on my foot and he weighs 86 pounds yeah, or whatever 82, 82 pounds 82. he is a great oh. dog and want to mind everybody that when uh that we're open monday through saturday 10 a.m to 6 p.m we're at 7610 davis boulevard just east of the boys and girls club just east of santa barbara and boulevard at the end of the month we do our shot 
um, the last Friday of every month, we clinic. do our low cost clinic, low cost vaccination, low cost microchip. Call in advance and make a reservation. Uh, it's not necessarily an appointment, but it will get you pre-registered. It does. Yeah. It does, and it helps because I have to tell you, they are doing over 100 animals uh, at a time. So Clifford's number is 244-812. Come and get this gorgeous dog. And just so you know, he's part of our All Hearts No Worms program, and he's already started his treatment. All you have to do is adopt him and bring him back to us. We'll take care of everything. Thank you. Hey, this is one of the hottest cats up mm -hmm. for adoption today. Absolutely. This is Fuego. Fuego's number is 251950. Fuego is a male orange and white Aww. domestic short hair and is three years old. Weighs right at seven pounds and came in as a stray. What and a great looking cat. This had to be somebody's pet cat because he is the most well, gentle, like the nicest. It's one of yeah. the great orange colors that has a little bit of, I don't know, vanilla to it, and if you will. People love orange orange cats and they're always male you know yes. like 99.9 well, yes. percent exactly. of the time in fact when fuego come in they was actually listed as a female originally <laughs> yeah, we said we discovered that was not true that is not true but fuego is the perfect cat for this time of year because it is so hot out no i'm kidding um want to remind everybody that uh that he loves to be held the last friday of every month is our low cost <laughs> vaccination clinic here at collier county das vaccination, microchip, other services at low cost than what you would normally pay. Please call and make a, oh, a reservation. Yes. Uh, let us know that you're coming. It really helps because we put a lot of people in and out through that clinic each, each last Friday of each month, I should say. One more time, Fuego's number is 251-950. Come get Fuego today. This is Oreo. <laughs> Oreo's number is 251 251- 269. Oreo is a neutered male black and white domestic short hair and is five years old. And loves, glass of milk. loves other cats. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to just sit down with Oreo and have some cookies well, and milk? I love these extreme white whiskers yeah. and uh, eyelashes for yeah. lack of or I, eyebrows or whatever. I love the way ah. when you say his name, Oreo. Oreo. He looks at oh, you. He, oh, he, he's got beautiful green eyes. He does have beautiful green eyes. It's a piercing stare. He, though. and you I'm know a what? A little bit intimidated. He's fixed. He can go home today with you. And that is one of the best parts yeah. about oh. Oreo is that he can go out the door. Now, if you choose a pet here that's not been spayed or neutered, it's not that long of a no. wait. And it's always day. worth it for unconditional love, correct? That's, that's right. That's right. We encourage adoptions, but we always want to remind you, if adoption is not an option for you, you can always consider volunteering. We could not do this show and or frankly fostering. would have a hard time running this yeah. place without our volunteers. If that doesn't work, you can foster dogs or cats in your home. And if none of those are an option for you, please consider Just donating to the Collier County Domestic Animal Services Trust Fund. Yes. It's the money we use to pay for the cats and dogs to come in with right. some medical needs, like heartworm or whatever right. it might be. And we're really um, trying to raise money for an x-ray machine so that our cats and dogs don't have to go out to another uh, animal hospital. It's, Plus, just, that leftover one you got from the airport just really isn't meant for the job. <laughs> right. Anyway, this is a nice boy. Come and get him. Oreo, 251-269. Another great batch of dogs and cats. Absolutely. We get the best animals here at Collier County Domestic Animal Service. I want to remind everybody, we're at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. We're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for adoptions. And a special note as we close out today's Happy Tales. This is your final episode well, co-hosting the show final, with me. Final, well, okay, on a regular but... <laughs> basis, this is Marjorie's last episode. Joining me as co-host, it's been a great 17 years. We've <laughs> she started doing the show when she was 16. She's 33 now. It's time to wrap it up. <laughs> I just want to thank you on behalf of all the volunteers and the folks here at DAS for acting as my regular co-host. I got to tell you, it's just yeah. been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And then, of course, uh, taking your place is going to be Danielle. Yeah. Is it? I'm going to say it wrong. Summer Somerville. Somerville. I always want to add the S, make it Somerville. Danielle Somerville will be joining me for the next episode, but you'll still be filling I'll in be whenever I have to be gone or she has to be gone. Fantastic. So thanks, Marjorie. Thanks, Thank dogs you. and cats. Thanks, all of you. And until next time, happy, happy tales. tales. You're watching Collier Television, bringing government home. Collier County Domestic Animal Services has worked hard over the years to improve the live release rate. 
Live release rate is the percentage of animals that leave the shelter with a positive outcome. Ten years ago, our live release rate for cats was only 17 percent. Um, that's only 17 percent of the cats that entered our shelter actually found a positive outcome. Um, the dogs are slightly higher at 57 percent of dogs ten, back in 2010. Um, right now, dog live release rate is 95 percent. The increased live release rate can be attributed to many things. Honestly, it's, it's the, 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 the dedicated volunteers that we have here at the shelter, um, our partnerships with the um, rescue groups and um, Humane Society Naples, Gulf Coast Humane Society, um, they help us a, a lot by taking animals from our shelter here, and then also our staff. One of the biggest challenges for DAS is keeping pets in homes and out of shelters. We're trying to find a lot more positive ways to try to find um, you know, try to find homes for animals. Um, when people are trying to surrender their animals because they can no longer care for them, staff are trained to try to work with these people. Our goal is to keep the animal in the home and out of the shelter. Um, animal shelter is a very stressful, scary place for a lot of animals that don't do well. Um, so we try to give them all sorts of options. Um, sometimes people can't try to surrender animals because they can't afford to feed them. We try to help people out with that. Uh, maybe it's because they can't afford to have the animals, animals sterilized. We actually have an animal care sterilization trust fund where we can help get the animals sterilized for free or low cost. Um, so there's so many resources and we really try to work hard to keep the animals in the home. That means less animals are entering the shelter and so um, we have more options for people coming in to adopt animals. We have less animals available so more animals are getting adopted too. Another challenge facing DAS is finding homes for pets that make their way into the shelter. We do promote adoption promotions every month or every other month, um, so we lower the cost to kind of invite people into the shelter. Um, so that helps increase our adoption numbers. Um, so it's just so many different things that we are doing and trying, and you know we're, we're constantly trying different things and see what works and what doesn't work. Pet overpopulation is a community problem, but it's a problem that the community can help fix. You know, just really want to encourage the community to consider a shelter animal before they purchase an animal from, from a breeder or a pet store. Um, shelter animals make absolutely wonderful companions. With help from the community, volunteers and staff, DAS has accomplished great things for the homeless animals of Collier County. It feels absolutely amazing and we truly have to thank the volunteers for that. We have volunteers who are here every day working with our shelter cats, working with the public, somebody coming into the shelter who wants to adopt a cat. They get to know those cats and they try to match them up with the right, right families and because of that, um, you know, and plus all, all the promotions we have, we have been able to drive our adoption rates up for our cats and it's, it's absolutely amazing. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hey, hi, what's your name? You live around here? You're pretty. W where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yes, it's about time to get you fixed, sweetie. Your pets will start getting noticed sooner than you think. Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four. This is your new kitten, or your new puppy. Every day, 70,000 puppies and kittens just like them are born in the U.S. Cute, right? Well, what's not cute is that half of all litters are accidents. And when a kitten has a litter of oopsies and a puppy has a litter of uh-ohs, pretty soon you have thousands and thousands of OMGs. And that leads to millions of pets being killed in shelters each year. But if 80% of pet owners say they believe in spaying and neutering, then what gives? Well, it turns out those sweet little fuzzballs can get pregnant sooner than you think. A lot sooner. But here's the good news. You can stop the accident before it happens. You just have to remember one number. Four, as in four months. When you bring home Maggie or Ruby or Puddle or Clyde, get them fixed at four months. It can be old enough to get pregnant and it's definitely young enough to make a difference. Prevent more, fix at month four. You're watching Collier Television, bringing government home. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? 
I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. You're watching Collier Television, bringing government home.